a lot of money from television. There's Griffith, of course. They'll get the champion's end. We're coming up to the 15th and final round. Griffith making a sturdy defense of the middleweight championship. Referee Arthur McCanty had some touch gloves. Griffith on the left. Now Griffith is back to us. Archer on the right. Don't save anything, boys. This is it. in New York, I repeat, is by the two judges and the referee. It's on a round basis. If a round comes out even on an official's card, a supplementary point system is used. It is possible for the fight to end in a draw. If it ends in a draw, Griffith still would be champion. Less than two minutes remaining in the fight. We'll have an interview with the winner of the fight right after it's over, after the decision is announced. fight all the way. Less than a minute to go in this 15th and final round. the decision. Referee Arthur McCanty and Judge Johnny Dran both score it eight, six, one even, favor of Griffith. And Joe Eppy, the other judge, the middleweight champion. scores it eight to seven. Griffith, the winner by unanimous decision. And still, middleweight champion of the world, Emil Griffith. Emil Griffith, in a very, very close fight, defends the middleweight championship of the world successfully from Joey Archer. And I, we don't have much time here. We're trying to get Griffith to our cameras and microphones. Emil seems to be upset about something, for which I'm truly sorry, because he's a fine fighter. Hey, Sid, Sid, will you tell me what ruffled the champion? Here's well, Sid Martin. Uh, Freddie Brown, Archer's trainer, was very belligerent all the way through. Listen. Emil went over and tried to be cordial like a sportsman. Fred was then and made a remark at uh, Emil. Listen, will you tell Emil we got a, uh, about one minute? Yes, I will. Thank you. I know Emma was upset about something, and there's no question about it. 
John Condon has him for the Virgin Islands. We'll give him back to John. Amo, first of all, congratulations. You're really a great champion, no question. But what's the matter? Oh, well, I went over to shake his hand, and uh, he walked away from me. This isn't Joey. Joey walked away? Yeah, this isn't him. And he doesn't seem me. like him, does it? No. But uh, it was a good fight, you know. I always say to Joey, you can't win a fight when a whip for me. you got to come to me once in a while. And Did you tell him that now? No, no. I, wanted, I didn't tell him nothing. I tell you, the last time I fought Joey was a wonderful fight. It was a better fight than this one. You think you might fight him again? Well, I would like to fight him again. I don't care. This is a good good fight. Big crowd. Good yeah, money. Not, Why not? Not the money alone. See, I got some pride. You know what I mean? I know you have, Emil. You're, you're a true sportsman. You give everybody a chance. And you're very that's right, fair. That's why, that's why I'm a fighting and champion. And it was a good fight. He has Thank no you. apology to make for his fighting, though. What no, he else? can't make no apology now, so he can't turn it wrong. No, I if mean, he's not a good fight. that bad, you should come right. a little harder and get it. Thank you very much, Thank Emil. You. Good luck to you. Hey. Emil Griffith, the middleweight champion of the world, who still retains the middleweight title in a fine fight here at Madison Square Garden. It's been a pleasure for RKO Channel and Madison Square Garden Sports Presentations to bring you this middleweight bout. I'm Don Dunphy wishing you all... Fight of the Week, your Friday night cavalcade of sports feature. This is welterweight champion Emil Griffith. His ring earnings comfortably support his mother and a family of seven brothers and sisters. He's looking forward to a chance at the middleweight title, and tonight he faces his most severe test. Ruben, Hurricane Carter, probably the hardest puncher in the middleweight division. Carter was top-ranked contender until he lost a close decision to Joey Archer. A win over Griffith will put him back at the top. We'll soon find out what will happen. Okay, fellas. Shake hands now. Scoring in Pennsylvania, the five-point must system. Five points to the winner of a round, four or less to the loser. The mandatory eight count is in effect if a man is floored. So is a three knockdown rule, three times floored, and the bout's over. And the count will continue if a man is floored at the bell. Carter in the white trunk, Griffith in the black trunk. Griffith, the well away champion whose title is not at stake, facing probably the hardest hitter he has ever faced in Reuben Hurricane Carter. Carter features the left hook. His right is pretty good and it's quick. He has no jab that we have seen so far. Griffith has all the equipment. A jab, short and long punches, good hooks, good right crosses, good defensive moves. Carter has a tendency to miss over the head with his left hand. It's about under the auspices of the charitable Dapper Dan Club of Pittsburgh. Griffith facing a middleweight has won seven of his nine bouts with middleweight. He lost to Randy Sandy early in his career and to Denny Moyer, whom he defeated twice. Boys trading good leather here in round one. The winner of this fight could very well challenge for the middleweight title now held by Joey Giardello. You probably noticed that uh, down from the left hook. He's got to take the man at four, six, seven, eight. He's just about beat the count. He's just about beat it. And we have more than a minute to go in the round. Water is on him. And it goes with it down again. One minute to go in round one. And he just about beat the count again. And the referee is coming to the ball. The big victory for Ruben Hurricane Carter. Stops the bout after Griffith had been forced twice by solid left hook. That is the first time that Griffith has ever been stopped. It is the biggest victory in the career of Ruben Hurricane Carter. He was fighting the welterweight champion whose title was not at stake. A left hook sent Emil on the way to Dreamland, and he never quite recovered from it. 
Rivet, a real good sportsman, a fine competitor, goes over to congratulate. Alan Thomas is at the crossroads of his career. He needs a convincing victory tonight to continue his march. Three knockouts in a row for the Burlington Bomber. Instructions of five star. Morgan. 